Welcome everyone to Supreme Family Garden and today we have another very exciting video for you guys. As you all know, we're going through tough times right now. When would be any other? I almost lost, forgot what I was gonna say. But anyway, this is a good time guys. Make your yard, make your home the way you want it to be. Make it like um, heaven on earth at your own home. By doing so, we're gonna add a few more rock lights to our garden. Follow me, guys. All right, right here. I'm gonna place these two solar rock lights down. This year, I'm not really, still wanna keep it pretty. We'll keep it nice looking. But I am growing things this season, guys, in places I never thought I would grow stuff, all right? This right here is going to be a watermelon mound, all right? Right here, we have a Santa Rosa plum tree, maybe five plums somewhere back there. That's not what I'm here to talk about. We have watermelon that are growing inside of this island. Right here are crotons from last year that I covered and they're starting to come back. Because I cover them pretty good every year with my hay. So it's coming back. And they're around the perimeter. There's like three or four of them. In. There's a few blueberry plants in here. Here's a watermelon right here that's actually coming up. Okay, and back there, there's some collard greens. We're trying to still somewhat make it decorative. That's watermelon there, honey. And those are those, some collard greens here and here. Collard or mustard? One or two. Those look more like mustard. Yeah. All right, and here's a papaya. I have to cut it out. It's starting to come back up over here. And again, guys, if you grow papayas, just make sure you mulch the roots really good. And every year, they'll definitely come back. But again, guys, this is no time to be... Um, lazy. Lazy in your garden. I mean, this is no time. I mean, guys, we got to grow things. Grow your collards, mustards, your squash, your kale. Those things will be ready, of uh, table ready in about, what, 45 55 days some 60 days no more than that so even if you have to buy seedlings go ahead and get it if you can't afford organic right now now's not the time to be worrying about whether it's organic or not we need food on the table okay so anyway this is one of our little projects that we're doing and i'm gonna bring you back here i'm proud of this now you all know that um my son he um he gave us two beautiful little granddaughters okay they can't come right now but um, back here, before we go there, this is another area where we got a few squash and things the kids put out. And we're using this straw that I'm leaving here. Now, if you guys can see, this is still moist. So what I do, I just take it and I lay it around it like this. So as a weed preventative, okay, number one, so then when my fruit come out, they don't have to lay, even though this is mulch, I wanna protect everything this year. I wanna protect it. I don't want anything laying on the ground to get soft spots underneath. Those are things we do not, hey girl, you sure love me. Say, I go get a C-section next week. Say, I go get a C-section, yes I do. Yes I do, yes I do. All right, daddy gonna finish make this video, okay? But that's what we have here. We're gonna thin some of these out. The reason we haven't yet, I'm trying to keep the stronger ones where they... Oh, no, baby. Don't Come on, walk. Duchess. Come. You might have to eat squash this season, baby. Don't walk on that. So, um, anyway, guys, we're going to wait and see what's going to be the strongest ones. Then we'll start thinning from there. These are just little ideas how we can you can save space in your yard, weed-free, all in one. Okay? We're gonna show you guys how we're feeding them on another video, okay? Now over here, these are collards and mustards underneath here. Now we planted these guys underneath a little bit of shade so they don't bolt and you know, things like that, so. Oh, look at this big peach. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut this to your video. See that thing? But you did. It's all right. That is a big. You didn't even know it was there. Sure didn't. 
See, that's gonna be mine then. It sure is, baby. That's what they call a big mamma jamma. That's a mamma jamma. Hey, baby, you're gonna make it fall off. It's easy. Jesus. Okay. And again, guys, this was just a normal island around our peach tree, but we got a little bit of shade to protect our um, our greens, okay? Let me put this leaf while we're here. So that way, as they grow, not only is it gonna, we got a uh, can over, uh, blah, blah, blah. we have a canopy on the top, but then we have our greens on the bottom just to give them a little bit of shade because with your greens, you do not want to plant them in direct sunlight. You do not. Okay. Over here. Come on, Duchess. We have some corn that are coming out inside of this area here. And what I did, I put a lot of fish heads out in this area. We had to cut down this tree. That's gonna be another video. That's why we, Mr. Mike, stepped on some of the damn, the doggone corn back here, but I'm gonna stand them up. Okay, also guys, especially with your corn, your high nitrogen plants, this hay, as it breaks down, or grass, whatever you may use, it's gonna help that corn get that extra strength that it needs to do what it needs to do, okay? All right, now we'll go on back here. And in here, there's um, some squash. Some of them haven't emerged yet, but. I think that's watermelon. I didn't think that. See right here, we have another solar light that's aimed out here. So that way, if we all come out here at night, everything's illuminated, everything's nice. It's going to detour some of the animals from wanting to be around. They're going to smell the dogs, and they may say, oh, I don't want to go over here. Plus, I eat wildlife, so they know I mean business. And right here, we have some 4x4 four 8-footers. Four and we made just an inexpensive trellis for my grandkids. So when they come over, they can pick the grapes right on their own, okay? Yep. These here, let me bring the camera, honey. Are just four by four eights. I put like a foot or so in the ground, notch this out. That's how easy this stuff is, guys. Got a little zip tie up here just to hold this until it starts to leaf out and then the tenderos will just grab it and I'm set free, okay? And as you notice down here, we don't you don't want anything growing up your muscadines. You wanna keep everything to the top. I'm gonna to prune it out a little bit more. I'm just trying to wait. Since we're at it, this little peach tree here has two peaches on it. And that's on the name of this peach tree. Florida Green. Yeah. Should name that one Florida Lazy. And over here, is a swing. Now guys, don't laugh at the swing, it's old. I found this on the side of the road a long time ago. But the guys are gonna redo it, so I just had them hanging up here, so it was whatever, and we're gonna remake this for the kids. Look at that. So when they eat little popsicles and freezer cup, they can sit back here at granddaddy's house. I'm getting old. That's nice so many things. Mm -hmm. Put the little slab down here so that way they don't get real dirty. They could just get bloody when they fall. <laughs> well, then they'll learn how to jump. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to bring you up front. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Now, back here, we just cut out the last few. Um, these are native persimmon trees. 
We cut them all down because of webworms, okay? We can't afford to get 10 fruit to get our whole yard infested with stuff like this. Yeah, it's good. This is still on there. See here? Every year, guys, every year, this is what we get. So while we're home, we're trying to get rid of things that doesn't make any sense for us to keep around. Even though I love them very much, but it's not worth everything on the back the end. Tree. Yeah, it's not. It's just not worth it. And here's the fire persimmon firewood. Now we're gonna use this for barbecue wood. Mm. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna bring you guys up here. Stay tuned. Okay. All right, guys, now we're back up here. And what we're gonna do, I just showed you the um, persimmon trees that we cut down. I left them about two feet tall. So what I'm gonna do is, just for decorative purposes, turn these on, okay. Always wanna pull off a little piece of plastic to allow the sunlight to come in. And voila, then I'm gonna use these. I'm actually gonna get some sticky two-sided tape just to put these up here. And at night, I'll actually angle them where they need to be, okay? Just for little decorative things to make your yard be nice because uh, God only knows how long we're gonna be quarantined. So at least while you're home with your loved ones, you guys can enjoy your yard, you know, heaven on earth. And this is our kumquat island here. Okay, no kumquats yet. But around the perimeter, there's about eight to 10 kumquats. Inside of this island is actually blueberries, okay? Okay, so what I'll do later is I'm gonna probably have to cut this down. Here's our angel trumpet. Again, these are blueberries. We didn't show you guys this tree in our last video, but since we're over here, we'll just show it to you. And there's a little bee. It's actually a big bee. That's a bumblebee. Probably about 10 or 15 blueberries plants that are in this area here and guys again they are loaded this year no that's just me baby here guys these are just some weeds I'm gonna pull and come back here growing next to one of my plants. So I just want to be careful how I tug. I don't want to hurt anything. Shake the dirt back in there. And I'm gonna, Mr. Morning Garden, and lay that back over there and leave it there. That's a weed, I'll leave him right there. And see here guys, look at all the, all the blueberries that we're getting this year. Again, guys, I've, I'm growing these blueberries and um, just mulch, a little bit of compost because I don't put a lot of compost up near the home and um, just leaves every year, okay? Nothing extraordinary, nothing extravagant, nothing expensive, just compost, guys, just compost. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. We're just showing you guys just different little things that you can do while you're home for the coronavirus. And again, 
May God bless each and every one of you. And pray, okay? Better yards, better gardens. Thank you so very much for watching.